The United States has decided to banish 15 Cuban diplomats from the United States, citing a drawdown of U.S. diplomatic pressure in Havana, accusing the Cuban government of failing to protect U.S. diplomats in the country. Uh, basically, this they said to ensure equity with Cuba. Okay, so essentially what happened was last week the State Department claimed that the, the U.S. Embassy in Cuba was being attacked by something, something that they had literally no evidence of it being attacked. It's just that people there got sick and they, they, they cited these mysterious health attacks of, of at least 22 Americans, but failed to describe anything of substance. Officials told the New York Times the FBI had visited the homes of diplomats in Cuba, but had not been able to detect anything. Security footage of the homes showed nothing suspicious. Officials suspected some kind of futuristic sonic attack. Some of the diplomats reported hearing loud noises or feeling vibrations when the incidents occurred, but others had heard and experienced nothing. The FBI had been unable to duplicate the symptoms in a lab. Now, of course, the Cuban government denies the accusation with a statement put out by the Cuban Foreign Ministry. The Cuban government has never perpetrated, nor will it ever perpetrate, attacks against any kind of diplomats. The Cuban government has never permitted, nor will it ever permit, the use of its territory by third parties for this purpose. There is no evidence so far of the cause or origin of these health disorders, as reported by the U.S. diplomats. So, essentially, the United States is claiming their diplomats were attacked with nothing to substantiate that there actually was an attack, no evidence to show that an attack actually took place, but we're supposed to believe them. I mean, it, it's incredible. It's the, oh, uh, Cuba's so poor, it's got nothing, it's so backward, it's incredible, yet somehow they have the most super advanced, you know, sonic weapons in order to attack U.S. diplomats, as though somehow attacking diplomats would actually achieve something for Cuba, which it actually doesn't. Even if they had done it, it would only have been bad for them. There's no actual benefit to doing this at all. It would be a different case if they claimed that Cuba was doing this to the United States in general, like some kind of sonic attack against the country, then that would make sense. But just doing it to diplomats doesn't make any sense. And yet, you know, once again, we're going to hear about how the United States is somehow the victim in the world while saying that they were attacked by something they can't even confirm actually happened. Thank you for watching. If you like this program, then please head over to my Patreon page and set up a monthly donation. It's your donations that keep this program running. Also, if you would like, please rate, Comment, subscribe, and share in various social media.